Hey, what's up guys? Trex here, and welcome back to another episode of Trex Complete Star Wars Battlefront 2. This is episode 3. Last time we had the short space battle over Coruscant. This time we are attacking Felucia, Heart of Darkness, by, uh, by Joseph Conrad. Interesting book. Apocalypse Now is based off it. Let's attack it. Alright, Felucia, Heart of Darkness. The CIS is in Transton Felucia. Oh man, there should have been a stroke on that. I couldn't read that in the background. Five for strong. Here it's we go. said that the 501st got the best of the war. We also got the worst. On Felucia, the Seps dug their metal heels into the muck of that alien hellhole and dared the Republic to come in after them. So we did. Only to be met with the month after month of flesh eating diseases, shrieking nocturnal predators, and other sights that haunt me to this day. Cut off and for all we knew abandoned by our superiors, our only hope was Ayla Sekuda, our Jedi commander. Without her iron will, none of us would have come out of that mess with our sanity or our lives. When ah, came, I get why I it's called it Heart of Darkness quick. now. She earned that much. In case you don't know, Heart of Darkness is the book by Joseph Conrad about a man going down a steamer, uh, down a river in South America to find Colonel Kurtz, to find um, Kurtz, who is sort of a guy that's gone rogue and stuff. It, it's a pretty interesting read. If you're in high school, you'll definitely have to read it at some point. Uh, but yeah. Uh, pop up sounds based off it. Probably some of the stuff too. What is that? Oh my gosh. That thing is huge. Um, dang, I don't have a. Oh boy. Oh, homecoming memories! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. Anyways, we have to kill six of these? Man. It's just a sweet roll. Oh boy, he is coming at me. Oh, uh, this is an unpleasant. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So they're like two-shot hit things. Okay. So we actually have a chance of some sort. Come on, behind the bubble, buddy. Bubble boy. Oh, come on. We can't miss. If we miss, we die. Oh boy. Come on, hit him. Oh, come on. Oh man, we're totally screwed now. This is not going to be good. Oh no. Yep. Yep. We are. We're dead. We are. Yep, yep. Got backed up into a corner. It wouldn't let us go. <sighs> Reminds me of my time in Jirata. Some grunts in my platoon, they just. they won't keep quiet. We were approaching the point that we needed to take, and they would stop screaming for their mothers and their family. I. I didn't want to, but I. I had to. I got behind one grunt in my patrol. His name was like George or Bill or Fred or something. I think it was Fred. He had a brother, didn't have an ear. But I, I got behind him and I, I took my arm and put it right up under his chin. And I pulled until the screaming stopped. But so did his breathing. Needless to say, I frankly enjoyed the war. Anyways, um, don't know what that has to do with this mission, but we are getting stabbed by this guy. Coño, 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 vere a la mierda, vere a la mierda. I'm not gonna say what that means, because it's, oh, yeah, we're dead. Vere a la mierda. Okay, let's see here. Um, oh my, you are close, hello. Uh, I'm just gonna Tom Hanks you and Saving Private Ryan with the wimpy pistol to the tank. Who's seen that movie? That's a good movie. You should see that movie. Oh, okay. Hello. Um, yep, there we go. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, Saving Private Ryan. Pretty solid movie. Okay, so only two more to go. And we have seven people left. Oh boy. Okay, okay, one more. If we do this, we win. Maybe. Okay. Oh no. Four people left. Just keep firing in the face. Shoot into the crowd. Out of ammo. Oh no. Please don't fail the mission. We just have like half a hit on him. Come on. I am the last one. I am Will Smith and I am Legend. Come on. Take him out. We have one more. 
Oh, thank goodness. 16 UAV more troops. We are still alive. Defend the ATTE. Oh, um, I'm just going to change my class. We just have to hold them off until Master Secure arrives. That shouldn't be too difficult. Right? Right, guys? How long until she arrives? Oh, boy. Two minutes. Okay. Here's a droid. Wait, there's a super? Oh, man. Come on. Come. Just let me hit you. Let me hit you! Those were the words of Bray Rice and Chris Brown. I'm just not going to talk. Because... Okay, save it, for, save it for the enemy. I'm going to hit... Oh, wow. That felt very 12-year-old and LG Pro-esque. Stick the grenade right on the guy and watch him as they explode. It's like that scene in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, that's good. That, First Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Really solid movie, actually. And I hear that the uh, fifth one that they're coming out with is kind of going back to the original. Not, not the movie, the ride. It's going back to the original ride. It's going to be based off that. Nah, I'm just kidding. But um, apparently the fifth Pirates of the Caribbean movie is kind of going to be a callback to the first one and how fun it was and be more focused on the adventure and the story instead of being a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. And getting awful, so maybe this next one will be good. Can you get, go, go away? So maybe this next one will be good. 30 more seconds. We have 10 people left. I think we're going to survive. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I can't believe that just a ride that's older than any of the viewers of my audience or even me spawned that entire franchise. It's kind of weird. Speaking of Pirates of the Caribbean, a new Jungle Book trailer came out today or the first one, I can't wait for that movie. I personally think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, John Favreau, I really like him. He did Elf, Iron Man, Chef, um, pro pro Iron Man 2, probably some other stuff as well. It's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, the trailer looks kind of fun. Or, it's, it's going to be a fun movie. I don't know if it will be good. And, seriously, watch the trailer, because the last thing in the trailer was... That was quite, quite nice. What, what's our objective again? Oh, get this. Oh, easy. All right. Well, what, what am I, what am I still doing here? Powering up the ATTE. Is that it? Yeah. Check out Jungle, Jungle Book trailer. Nice work. The ATTE has been reactivated. The CIS offensive is being mounted from the fungal tree to the south. Okay. Advance on their base of operations there and take out their primary defense turrets. Let's advance upon the base, even though they've submitted the recall codes. Um. I say that because I just finished watching Doctor Strange Love or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. Really good movie, actually. Uh, check that out. It's PG. Got a little bit of uh, language and risque stuff. Stanley Kubrick, so yeah, pretty typical Kubrick. I've only seen that and 2001 from Kubrick, I believe, unless I'm forgetting something. But yeah, I, I, I definitely recommend you see that movie. It's kind of kind of essential to see if you want to see a good comedy war movie slash cultural era movie or whatever because Cold War era historical comedy it, it's pretty solid and Peter Sellers or whatever his name is oh dang we died right at the turret okay thank goodness we can get in the ATTE alright wait, 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 what do we have to do uh, he destroy the CIS turrets. Well, ATT is useless. Let's not go to Camelot. It's a boring place, anyways. So yeah. Oh man, there's one over there. This is gonna be fun. Hello, turret. Oh man, this is gonna take forever. Okay, might as well just use our little pea shooters, like Saving Private Ryan. Man, two Saving Private Ryan references today. Today's a pretty solid day. You know, here's where I'd use Ayla Secura if I had her. Dang it. Okay, I will I will not fail this mission because I can't move this ATTE. Where are its front legs? Does it not have the Does it have the front legs? I don't know. Where are the front legs? Can, can, can we kinda of speed it up? A bit ATTE. I know you're a white American and you're big and slow, 
Okay, can we just speed it up possibly a little bit? Oh, okay, good. Getting some solid hits on the ATTE. Tank blows up. Epochs fall down. And final hit on that. Alright, let's see here. We have to get over there. This is gonna be fun. And extremely slow. How am I running at only 45 FPS? This game is like from 2002. I should be getting 60. I have a GTX 750 Ti. On fire into the darkness. Fire into the crowd. Are we done? We have them on the run. We have them on the run. Like Forrest, Forrest Gump, which is in the Sapphire Collection. You know what other movies in the Sapphire Collection? Saving Private Ryan. Number three. Okay. Victory screen, we did it. When the 501st was finally rotated out of Felucia, Ayla Sakura made a point of seeing us off personally, calling us the bravest soldiers she had ever seen. It's a good thing we were wearing helmets, because none of us could bear to look her in the eye. Man, this game is really dark. I forgot how dark it was. <laughs> but it's still a great game. Alright, definitely we want to save our progress as Trex completes. So yeah, that's it for this episode of uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Next episode we will fight Kashyyyk, the first line of defense. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Star Wars Battlefront 2. If you liked the video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. See you guys all next time, and goodbye.